Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix the issue where your measuring app on the iPhone isn't working correctly or doesn't work for you or doesn't open, whatever the problem may be. There's a couple things you can do to really fix this issue. So the measuring app is a default app that comes pre-installed with your iOS iPhone, which is pretty good because you can pretty much use it to check the level of things. You can use it to measure such things, but sometimes it may not be working correctly and we need to figure out exactly why it's not working correctly to measure something if you're looking to measure something. So let's I'll dive right into it. So the very first thing whenever this happens is simply go ahead and close out the app and reopen it. In order to do that, you're going to slide up with your finger like this, simply slide it up so it closes out the app and then you're just going to simply reload the the app itself and sometimes it may be simple as that because the the app just simply bugged out or was glitching and it should work for you. Now let's say it's still not working then the next thing you want to check out is if you try to use a measuring app you want to make sure you're in a very good lighted area. When it's dark sometimes it may not recognize exactly or it's too blurry for the camera it's not going to be able to exactly figure out the, with the sensors, what it's trying to measure. The other thing also along with that is that your case, if you're using a specific case, sometimes there's some really fancy and crazy cases out there like this itself here, and they might get in the way of actually interfere with trying to measure something and I recommend taking off the case and seeing if that helps as well. Now after you have done that the other thing along with the case is ensuring that the camera lenses are clean because it requires the camera lens. Sometimes if your camera lens are dirty or they have a lot of dust they might also interfere with the measuring sensors themselves. So clean your camera lens as well. Now after you have done that it's still not working it's time to give your phone a clean force restart. So in order to do that we're going to do the volume up volume we're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button on the right hand side until the screen goes completely black and then when we see the Apple logo we'll let go of that button. So it's volume up or volume down and then I hold that side button on the right hand side and this is known as a force restart which is different from just turning on and off your phone so we'll explain exactly what that means so you'll see here the screen went completely black don't worry you keep on holding that button till you see the Apple logo and then you let go and all this is doing is basically shutting down the phone completely and reloading all of the software so that if there was any issue with the code impacting the measuring app it will fix that issue and generally one of the very first troubleshooting steps you will do when it comes to fixing any sort of software related issue with your iPhone and hopefully by now your utility if you go into your utilities and your measuring app is working for you now. Now if it's still not working the next thing to check is that if there's an update out you need to update your measuring app and what we mean by that is hop over to your app store here so you want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi here if you uh, don't have Wi-Fi here as you can see our mind's just disconnected but I'm just going to simply connect to Wi-Fi hopefully you can get to the Wi-Fi here open up App Store so and then once you open up App Store what you'll do is go down here click on the search and search up measure right you're going to search up the measure and the app the measure one we click on this one as you can see the very first one which says utilities which is from Apple you want to see if there's an update but if there is it's going to say update and you click on the update itself to update the app and what I mean by that we'll show you just in second apps that require update will also show up here where it'll come up with a button where it says update so the measuring app says update click on that update like that and you want to update the app itself and go ahead and after that try to see if the measuring app is working for you now. Now let's say it's still not working. The other thing you can do after updating it's completely deleting the app and re-downloading it from the App Store. So these are default apps that can be found on the App Store so deleting it won't uh, affect anything. All you do is remove app, delete app and then hit that delete option and it just delete it and then we go back to the App Store again right and this time we'll search for the measure app again. So we'll search up measure and make sure the one that you're getting here it's from Apple where it says the utilities and then there should be a cloud looking thing just like that and it should just install it for you and then here I'm going to go back and look for it on my page it might be installed all the way in your libraries and we'll click on the app and then press and hold and add to our home screen and we have the measure app then you can move it to the utilities folder if you like but hopefully by now because you delete it and reinstall it, it's working for you. Now if it's still not working, it's time to go ahead and update your phone software. In order to do that, go into your settings and this time in the settings here, you're going to go to 
general and then software update and it's going to check if there's an update out for you if there's an update out it'll you'll simply want to do is uh, download and install that update because you want to make sure that if there's an issue going on maybe a previous update broke like the functionality of the measure app it will resolve it so if there is one if you're on a good wi-fi and you have at least 50 percent or more charge if not plug it into a charger click and download and install and when you do do update a software of your phone make sure you give yourself enough time half an hour to 45 minutes sometimes these updates can take a little bit of time and by now hopefully your issue will be resolved and the measuring app is working again you can go ahead and measure again on your phone so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time